what's up guys and welcome back to another video it's a nice sunny day in Bali I don't know whether you can tell from the camera but today let's talk about tracking workouts should you do it do I do it would I recommend it let's get into it now I've been training for around 16 years and of that period I've tracked my workouts for about six months okay so not much to be honest when I did it uh, I actually enjoyed it uh, I didn't mind it I haven't been doing it um, but now because I'm making this video I'm gonna track my workouts for 60 to 90 days I'm gonna track my workouts then I'll make another video I'll see if it actually makes a difference at all um, I think it probably will do but for most people this is going to be a controversial opinion but I don't think you should track your workouts unless you want to now there is a big but to that and that is if you're competing in some form um, if you're a power lifter you have to track your workouts but if you're a bodybuilder if you're um, on a sports team or doing some form of ath athletics you need to track your workouts because um, that is the only way to guarantee that you're progressively overloading each time you go in the gym you want to make sure you're working a little bit harder you're adding extra stimulus for your muscle to grow stronger and grow new muscle tissue the only way to guarantee that is by tracking your workouts because from workout to workout um, you know the same weight can feel heavier like some days you might go in you're super motivated weight feels extremely light the next week you, or the next few days you can do that same session again that same exercise same weight and it might feel much harder and the only difference is your motivation levels or your energy levels or there's so many different variables at play so if you want the best results possible you're all in uh, you have to you have to track your workouts there's no way around it but vast majority of people who are training and want to get in great shape they don't fall into that category you know they're just not serious enough even a lot of people you see online who are in amazing shape most of them are not tracking their workouts okay and this is this could actually be a good way for you to uh, kind of get ahead and I always like the fact I always like the idea of doing things that other people aren't willing to do that's a great way not just in fitness but also in life to get ahead is you know do the things that other people are not willing to do and tracking the workouts is for sure one of them because I've trained with a lot of people over the years and just to watch people training in the gym obviously and I would estimate maybe 10-15% of people are tracking their workouts if that um, so is it necessary no I mean it depends on your goals like I said if you're competing then yeah sure track your workouts another point to consider is you might actually enjoy it so it depends on your personality type but some people just love tracking stuff now they love tracking the calories and the macros other people hate it other people absolutely hate doing that stuff but if you're the kind of person who likes tracking your workouts likes recording everything you're very structured um, then you're probably gonna like tracking your workouts and if you haven't tried it try it because it might actually bring more fun to your training sessions uh, and obviously it's just gonna help you progress as well but if you're the sort of person that doesn't enjoy it and you're forcing yourself to do it and it's also taking some of the fun out of training then I would really recommend that you stop tracking your workouts because let's imagine two people uh, and one person uh, goes to the gym they're not tracking but they have so much fun they just love training like and you have another person who you know going to the gym not really enjoying it but meticulously tracking everything over the long term you know over the long term the person who's having fun is gonna make the most progress or they're gonna do better because there's a lot of different variables at play and tracking your workouts it will help but it's not as important as just actually going to the gym in the first place it's not as important as just looking forward to it and actively trying giving a hundred percent effort and if you if you're not having fun it's very hard to show up and give that effort every single time so if you enjoy it by all means do it um, right now my kind of training program is push pull arms legs push arms yeah 
push, pull, arms, legs, push, arms. And I train calves every day, but that's, I do that separately. So I'm not saying don't follow the structured training program. You need to follow a structured training program. Um, but do you need to record every single set and reps? I don't, I don't think you do. You don't need to, unless you want to. Um, that doesn't mean to say that every workout isn't structured. Like every time I go into the gym, um, there's some kind of overall structure. Usually uh, I will do the compound movements first and then move on to the isolation movements. So there's still some structure. There's still like an overall idea of, uh, you know, working bigger muscle groups before smaller ones. Um, but I'm not tracking individual sets and reps. But by all means, if you enjoy it, go for it. If you don't enjoy it, you don't want to do it, you're not competing um, and you just want to get in great shape, but you want to have some fun along the way, then don't track your workouts. So that's it for this video. I hope it helps and I'll talk to you soon.